Aries, welcome to your October 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So what is the central theme for Aries reading today? What's the central theme? Ooh, that one to come out for a minute. There's a beautiful awakening. There's an awakening here. Okay. Yeah, there's a beautiful awakening here. You're coming to the realization of something. Something is coming to the forefront. And it's actually beautiful. It's life changing. Could be around the time of the uh, full moon in October. The true awakening. I see you have victory. Ooh, a whole story just came out. I see you have victory. There's a parade in your honor. And that's in the future. That's in October. Oh, they're all going to come out. It's a bunch of major life events here. Man, this is a really long story. That's too long. I, I'm not using that story. That story was, man, <laughs> that was a really long story. That's more than October. That's like the whole year. Alright, I see your subconscious mind here is holding you back and you're blinded to it. You're being led by your reptilian brain, the brain that's all about food, sex. You're not using your, you're not using your inner self, your inner knowledge here. You're blinded. And that was in the past, actually. There could have been laziness here, um, money mad, doing like money making schemes. And that's like coming into towards the present. But these money making schemes, you're triumphant. You're not following your inner self, you're not following your inner wisdom. You're blinded, but you're awakening to the truth and you're getting you're getting victory. You're gaining victory. You're getting in control of your emotions. I see, I see like the knight in shining armor riding in on his horse. Alright, in October, I see money, spending money foolishly. Yeah, I see you spending money foolishly in October. Yeah, there's reckless behavior here, leaping without looking first. You're not being very you're not being very practical, you're not being very charitable, you're not being you're not being very loyal, you're you're running into something fast, too fast and it's just foolish. And it, but it begins a new journey. 
You do begin a new journey. I see a couple here. They're a financially well-off couple. But they're both in the negative. They're both... They're, there could be fights about money. I see arguments about money. In the fall. I see two people not seeing eye to eye. One is still stuck in the past. And one is right here, right now. And wants to hold on to their money. But I see you getting victory. And then running in foolishly. I see you getting out of pain out of heartbreak you're releasing it I don't see it no one's backstabbing you somebody may have backstabbed you in the past but you're releasing that and I see you moving like emotionally you're climbing you're climbing up you're, you're getting you're getting out of this dry spell you were in like this emotional dry spell where you were just like not emotionally charged at all and you're coming into your emotions, you're climbing. I see you, this is an uphill climb. You feel like somebody's going to try to get over on you but they're not. No one's getting over on you and you're releasing pain. I see that there could be some spying, some gossip. There's like malicious gossip, spying, unkind words. But I see that there's a balance. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's hope here. There's temperance. There's balancing. You're, you're restructuring yourself. I see there's a loss of control here. Um, there's obsession. There's obsession here. This is a major life event. You're obsessed with somebody from the past. It could have been like a sexual obsession. And you feel out of control. But it's getting balanced. It's being balanced. So I see it all starts with it, it could have been a Pisces or a Cancer, but we have we have the High Priestess, but she's in the reverse. She she rules over the subconscious mind. So whenever she's in reverse, you're letting your animalistic nature take control of you, and you don't want to see the truth. You're in like. We have the Eight of Swords, so you're blindfolded, but you can release that. You have that ability to release it, but you're not doing that. And you are you feel trapped and isolated. And then we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So there could, there could be like a loss of a job or loss of something financially, like finances that are being lost. Uh, money mad, lazy, you could have put on some weight and your partner could have put on some weight and I see the queen of pentacles in the reverse so we have the king and the queen of pentacles here and they're both in the reverse so there's there's a couple there, there's the masculine and feminine, the yin and yang the balance and they're both in the reverse so there's an imbalance here but I see I see someone coming in and they're very very um, emotional it, it's very emotional and they're, they're carrying this cup of goodies and it's victory and it's leading to an obsession to death reverse, that's Scorpio energy and it's a major life event it's about holding on to the past, refusing to let go and then we have strength in the reverse, that's Leo energy 
And Scorpio is the more emotional side of Mars, because Scorpio is a water sign which is very emotional, and it's ruled by Mars. Aries is the more energetic, passionate side of Mars. So sometimes whenever I see Scorpio in a reading for an Aries, it could actually just be you, the, your more emotional side. You're, you're stuck in the past and you're refusing to let go. There's an obsession here. And then we have Leo. So it could have been over a Leo. Um, there's a lion here and it's in the reverse. So lions are the head of the household and she's taming the lion but it's in the reverse so the lion's taking control of her there's a loss of control there's no strength no inner strength being used and that could go back to the high priestess in reverse your subconscious mind is taking control of you But I see temperance comes out. And that could be a Sagittarius or just a Sagittarius energy of somebody who's very free and outgoing and spirited. And, and temperance brings the rainbow, the light at the end of the tunnel. She is the angel that brings harmony and peace and balance. And it releases you from pain. But I see there's a potential this isn't set in stone. That's why you get a tarot reading because the future is moldable, bendable. Um, but there's a potential of running into something too fast. And it leads to somebody spying on you. Some like, Or you're spying on somebody else. There's an obsession here and there's a lot of spying behavior. I see you awakening and I see you awakening to the truth that you, there's, you're either spying on somebody or they're spying on you. I'm seeing that really strong. I see good things happening. I, I see, I see good things happening, th good things coming in and a rebalancing. But I also see that there could be some financial loss or arguments about finances. That'll happen in early October. I see that more in early October. The end of October, there's a chance of spying somebody watching you or you're watching somebody else doing something very foolish. Actually, I see it more as... Um, somebody else watching you because the page of swords is in the reverse and he's looking at the full reverse and the full begins the major arcana and your Aries you begin the zodiac so I always see the full as you Aries so I see somebody spying on you towards the end of October It could be a business partner or a romantic partner. There's no strength or unity here. There's blindness. There's obsession. Somebody is obsessed. They they saw you as like the princess or the prince charming. And they're obsessed with that and they feel out of control and they're spying on you or you saw somebody come in and they were like the savior and the, it, you got obsessed and so it could go either or I see a stalker I really do this looks like a stalker I see whoever this person is, there's beauty there. I see it all being sh like light being shined on it around the full moon. Like you'll know who this is around the full moon. All right, Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. 
If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you like this, please give me a like. Have a great day.